Hey everyone, it's uh, Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And here I am, actually for the first time in several years, I'm here on 17th Avenue Southeast, also known as International Avenue. You can hear the traffic right behind me. The one thing definitely has changed is now there you see there have dedicated bus lanes for the Max Purple which that will allow me to be able to come out here quickly from downtown. But uh, the other reason why I'm here is one thing that I plan to do is do some more on-the-go vlogging. But I also am in a, on a mission, assuming that uh, bowling alleys will ever be allowed to open again, is I grew up as a bowler in the YBC, and I mostly bowled at Chinook, Bowl Drum. But I'm on the mission to find what bowling alley in Calgary gives the most retro aesthetics and I've already was on the outside of Chinook Center we're at the basement and I love how the fact that the basement time has stood still well check this out here's Paradise Lanes here in Calgary that sign I've always remembered that sign right there and as you, you can see the sign right there saying bowling COVID closed but I do remember occasionally bowling here just to practice for you know tournaments or just kill some time in the summer or I think I might have actually bowled a tournament here and this is definitely another one of those similar to Chinook Center where here at this mini mall sorry I keep saying here but uh, describing the location right now but in the strip mall you walk in and right now I obviously can't walk in but eventually assuming COVID ever ends and we're allowed to go bowling again you can see the sign right here this also gives that retro aesthetic. Welcome to Paradise Bowl. There's 18 lanes. Once again, just like Chinook Center, it's five pin. It's a five pin bowling is actually a Canadian exclusive game. I mean, 10 pin is what most people associate bowling with. And there's also other regionalized bowling, but go back here, you, this is where you get in and you go downstairs similar to Chinook Center. But I'm gonna see if this bowling alley in the future hopefully ever get to go back into the bowling alley how much retro aesthetics and I'm sure this sign I almost have to come back here in an evening at some time I wonder if that neon still works because that has retro neon aesthetics all over and I'm gonna say this bowling alley it's gonna have to be pretty close to uh, give me that retro aesthetics that I'm after that's all I'm on the mission for hopefully when bowling alleys open again and if you go a little down the street you can see that 4c sign i might come up closer to that to tack on this video as a bonus content that's another sign that i remember growing up in the northeast occasionally down, coming down here that uh these signs they've remained like all my life that i remember being in calgary and just in neon you don't see that anymore and kind of like the you know the other thing that just Appealed to me with the I'm just gonna walk around on the other side of the sign just so you can see the other side it doesn't say anything on the uh, marquee but you could see yeah you could see it better in the Sun where it has that old you know neon and I wonder if those light bulbs get going at nighttime I mean I'm not gonna wait till nighttime right now but yeah, that, that sign screams retro aesthetics and I think with the paradise lanes I think part of the Western Canadian Pro Tour that they have going on, I think they have tournaments down here, but uh, I think this lane will, just like Chinook Center, I'll have to look it up, and assuming if I ever get bowling again, and be allowed to go inside the bowling alley, I'll have to look it up when this alley actually opens, because I know uh, Chinook Center opened back in 1960. I mean, this definitely has got to be going back to the 70s 60s but what's amazing is that all this has changed i mean you could see the you know dedicate bus lanes all the businesses around has changed i mean even for example over here where you see the rexall sign i remember a safeway used to be there and that safeway had that old retro aesthetics for when it comes to what grocery stores used to look like on the outside i remember that safeway for many years it was like it was built in the 1950s and it had that similar architecture i think being in the engineering and planning industry 
I think I get more appreciation for that. But bowling, going back to the bowling with the Paradise Bowl, I just think it bowling has that retro aesthetic to it. And uh, I'm I'm on the mission to find what Calgary bowling alley gives me that. I mean, you got the Chinook Center in the basement. I think Paradise. I think there's lots of elements that it's still I remember. Other alleys that I could think of is Topper Bowl. And then you have to look at the Mountain View. And then, of course, there's Lats, but it's in that industrial area in the Northeast. But, you know, that, that's the other alleys I can think of that's still around. And hopefully they'll be allowed to open. So uh, I'll close out here and I'll go up to the Four C's and show you that that and the outside. Just as a bonus to this video. So I'll, I'll meet you up there. Hey everyone, I'm back for kind of the second part of this video. That this is a bonus in addition to looking at the Paradise Bowl with the aesthetics on the outside. Well, here's another sign that I remember growing up over the years nearby in the Northeast. I mean, this is 17th Avenue Southeast, the other 17th Avenue. Most people might think of the Red Mile as 17th Avenue, but that's Southwest. But this is Southeast with the International Avenue, it's called, where you see various businesses, restaurants, where you see the whole globe represented, but uh, this is definitely another sign that uh, still has that, you know, neon retro aesthetics. Fittingly with the Paradise Bowl, which is back here, but this has got just a bonus that uh, definitely would like to come back here at nighttime. Hopefully it's still up and running, as you can see this whole strip mall right here. I also do remember... You know, the subway and CIPC always being there, but you see some newer uh, businesses. But I think all this facade and that is original. And see, there's the other side of the sign. Definitely is in better shape than the one on the other side because I saw one of the letters is gone. But uh, yeah, you can see, you know, this is uh, between 70th Avenue and 33rd Street is going that way and 36th Street up here southeast. And yeah, you can kind of see the skyline, but, uh, you know, the Paradise Bowl is on the other strip mall, but this is the uh, Four Seas Restaurant. So this is what I plan to do, do a little more on-the-go vlogging, but I'm on a mission right now, that, assuming bowling alleys ever get to be open again. I just want to see what is not necessarily the best bowling alley in the city. But the best bowling alley that gives me those retro aesthetics. And I'm going to say the Chinook Center. I mean, I'm always nostalgic for Chinook Center because that's where I spent most of my time bowling in the YBC, the Youth Bowling Council, eight of my 10 years. But uh, the Paradise Lanes, I think that also is in the running for to give me those retro aesthetics because I don't remember that changing much. And based on pictures that I've seen, I think I'll be in a tree whenever I get to go back to the bowling and I would also like to slowly get back into the game myself as uh, I need to uh, ref refine the time to uh, get back into bowling. So anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's uh, another on-the-go vlogging. This is just a bonus with the Four Seas restaurant, but uh, primarily it was the Paradise Bowling, bowling Alley that uh, I see the retro aesthetics on the outside still is unchanged and I have to look up when that bowling alley first opened, and I'd have to think it goes back to the 70s or even the 60s, but uh, I'm still amazed that sign, it's still there, and the same with this Four Seas restaurant. So anyways, you know, if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports fan's journey, home to flame, sitting in Roughnecks and Stampeders, I mostly do talk Calgary Sports on my YouTube channel, but I also do some personal vlogs, tap to call me, and I also want to do some more on-the-go vlogging, and go to other parts of the city that I remember, and talk about that but uh, bowling alleys is definitely going to be something I want to uh, do more of so uh, if that all sounds like a good to watch to follow along with Scott Sports Sports Journey you know what you should do just uh, make sure you like subscribe and I have some other social media links down in the description below so I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video